All right, so we will have a Slack meeting in the afternoon. What's Slack? Slack is... Okay, I know this is a YouTube video and all, but come on, don't exaggerate. Everyone knows what Slack is way before Microsoft Teams was ever there. Wow, I can't believe you just spoke to me. You're imagining speaking to yourself while speaking to yourself. Blah, blah, Slack. All right, so check out this graph. Slack started as a wonderful startup with a really good product and they were the first people to do it. So it was more of a first mover's advantage until Microsoft swooped in and in three years, they had almost six times the number of users Slack had. That is around 62 million users for your information. So I wouldn't be surprised if someone says they knew Microsoft Teams and they don't know what Slack is. I'm a person, by the way, who loves Slack and I use Slack until this moment, but I do not control the market. I do, however, control your mind. Anyway, so what does this have to do with ChatGPT? ChatGPT is about to get whooped out of existence by Google's new product, Bard. As you know, OpenAI released ChatGPT and it was one of the fastest growing startups in 2022. Its growth was just unbelievable. For example, let's talk about how much time it took each startup to reach 1 million users. Airbnb took 30 months, Twitter 24, Facebook 10, Spotify 5 months, Instagram 2.5 months, ChatGPT took only five freaking days to reach 1 million users. It's unbelievable. Then they got a major investment from Microsoft, which is rumored that they're gonna add ChatGPT's features to their products quite soon. On the other hand, Google was freaked out. They announced a red alert and called in the old co-founders. Then yesterday, they just announced that they're releasing BART using Lambda instead of GPT. ChatGPT uses something called GPT-3, and Bard uses something called Lambda. You might not know Lambda, but you surely know the story of the software engineer from Google who got fired because he believed that Lambda was sentient. Bad guy. Now, there are two reasons why I believe Bard is gonna kill ChatGPT. Firstly, the internet and data. While ChatGPT is still trying to do this, Bard will have access to Google's data. Google's data is tremendous. HubSpot says that they process around 63,000 queries per second. 63,000 queries per second. Now, how could ChatGPT compete with that? The least Bard could do is just use the information that it has, how many people processed which query, what people are asking, and perfect the answers accordingly. This gives Bard a huge competitive advantage. Then there's the second reason, Microsoft. I heard some people saying that ChatGPT will be added to Bing. I saw an article about this online. There's only one problem with that. Bing f***ing sucks. Who the hell uses Bing? I would bet it's only Microsoft employees. That's it. But what do I know? Let's ask SEMrush. SEMrush says that this is the market share of Google, Yahoo, and Bing. Now you're telling me Bing is gonna make a difference? It's like giving a child a Game Boy and asking this child to compete in a PlayStation 5 championship. Even if the kid is a genius, the rich kid will probably win. That's it. So let's sit and watch while Bard kills ChatGPT the same way Microsoft Teams killed Slack. I mean, at the end of the day, Slack actually got acquired by Salesforce for 27 billion, which is really good. It's good for them. I was actually rooting for Slack. I love Slack but the business world doesn't know emotions. They would just go with what does the market want, what is a better product, or what is a product that is available. What's available here right now, and that's what's gonna work. So if you're using ChatGPT to write articles and Bard writes better articles, you're just gonna use Bard. If you're using ChatGPT to write code and Bard codes better, which is expected, then you're probably gonna use Bard. If Bard is sentient, as the Google engineer said, then we're all screwed, and you're probably gonna have to use Bard. I took a bet on Slack when it was facing Teams. Now, if I had to bet, I would think that ChatGPT doesn't have a chance. But the best thing about this business world, and my favorite thing, is being proved wrong. So, who knows? What do you think? Are we gonna forget ChatGPT in like a year? Or are we gonna forget Google in 10 years? Thank you for watching this video. Um, can you subscribe?